think my personal shooting style, like as of now, I would describe as quite raw. And I think a lot of my work already has um, sexual undertones with like a humorous aspect also a lot of the time. But I think when approaching this project, I wanted to include all of that because that's what I'm enjoying portraying within my imagery at the moment. Um, but I think the main point of difference was that this project was surrounding what well, I took the avenue of self-portraiture, which I've never really done before. Um, which was super personal because it's kind of like actually how I was feeling and it's not kind of like a model portraying a thought up concept of a team of people, which is usually the case. Um, and also I think it's much more personal, not only because it's me, but because it's in my bedroom. And it's kind of just like me dressing up, embracing my queer, and expressing my sexual feelings and thoughts that I'm having whilst alone in lockdown. I think within this body of work, rather than focusing on a certain aspect of like a physical sexual experience, I'd like to think my images are much more about kind of being free and being vulnerable with your sexual feelings and embracing your queer. I think in my images it's kind of like a lot of dress up in a bedroom setting and I would like to think that they're showing that it's okay to be sexual with oneself. I think the, the increase in digital sexuality overall is an exciting concept. I think a lot of the time we're brought up to think that sex and relationships is kind of like a taboo subject that we should shy away from, which is ridiculous. But I think now, with a time like lockdown, um, where we're not able to form relationships or really make connections, people are being much more vocal with their sexual feelings online. Um, and I think that should be celebrated. And it kind of increases the message that sex isn't a taboo subject and it can be spoke about and expressed through whether that be verbally or through the arts like this project.